Welcome friends, we're going to be doing our GL Ray uh, Tier 4 and Tier 5 event guide. Uh, this is going to be the version with BB-8 instead of Zori Bliss, so this will be a really basic team, won't require any excess people. And this will be 1 to 2 Zetas, depending on Tier 4 or Tier 5. I highly suggest both Zetas, just to make sure that you win, you don't want to be wasting tickets. So this is our lineup we got right here, it is Ray, Jedi Training Ray, Resistance Heroes, and BB-8. Uh, as you can see, I pulled off a mod from her. Um, we got a sweet spot again. So 506 speed is your sweet spot that you want to hit always. Uh, that 506 speed uh, will allow you to go before the two troopers that are with Kylo Ren. They're surprisingly fast. I'd suggest using speed mods, to be honest. Uh, I used offense just because that's what I was going for for my PvP modding. So this is going to be my overall mod sets afterwards. Um, but you'd be able to get this much easier with a speed set by far. So throw on a good speed set, you should be fine. Get over that 506 speed. Uh, um, if you don't get over the 506, it's still possible, but it makes it twice as hard. Um, really quick... So the two Zetas that you need are Sudden Whirlwind, so dealing that massive damage, which is basically just an insta-kill. Only activates when you have less than 60% uh, health on one of your allies. And then the other one that I highly suggest for both tiers, but you technically only need it for the, la uh, the second tier, is Galactic Legend. And the way that this interacts with the kit is really cool, because you get 10% extra max health, plus some other stuff, but that doesn't matter. Because you get 70% extra max health here for my Relic 7. I had to do it at Relic 5 with just Sudden Whirlwind, but doing it at Relic 7 with Galactic Legend and Sudden Whirlwind is 100%. You won't lose tickets. So if you can get it to this far, perfect. If not, Relic 5, Sudden Whirlwind, bare minimum that I was able to do it. Um... But that 10% health translates into the 25% health that you turn into protection for your allies with lifeblood. And so it allows you to get a whole bunch more beefiness on your team. So, just make sure you have Sudden Whirlwind, Galactic Legend, you'll be fine. Uh, I'm just going to show you guys the mods real quick. Really nothing too special. I pulled off some mods from Finn because... My uh, my Finn is crazy fast because I like him to go first in PvP on defense so people can't deal with him. Um, but no other Zetas are necessary besides those two Zetas in this lineup. Um, so yeah, we're, we'll go at it and it's pretty simple. Um, basically you're just ensuring that things don't happen. I have had problems in the past with these troopers instantly killing someone. If I don't go first with this lineup, um, with Zori, it still works fairly well to go slower in this tier um, because she saves people that go under 100% health. Um, but with this, you know, it can end very badly. And so I'm going to get Lifeblood and we'll just throw it on GTR. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use Finn to pass it back to JTR. Sorry, not JTR. To GL uh, Ray. It's my bad. And we're going to just do it again. Because we just pulled off 25% twice, she is now under that 60% health threshold. Uh, which allows her to have a uh, sudden whirlwind lying around. Now this is the ability we have to be careful of because of SLKR's kit. He gains uh, health and protection whenever you remove turn meter from him or his allies. They, they will gain. And so you never want to use this ability. It'll screw you over in the end. Um, I'm not going full in on SLKR just yet. And so I'm just going to do basic. And when we decide to go for it, then we can. Uh, he can be stunned in this. So we're going to try and go for the stun. Perfect. You don't need to land the stun, but it's always nice. Um, and we're going to go basically all of our regular damage is going to go all in on Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Uh, and then our Sudden Whirlwinds are going to go on these side guys because they deal so much damage and they counterattack constantly. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm going to say, yeah, let's start going all in on him. So I'm going to lock in the healing immunity. So he now has that healing immunity. And we're just going to start going full in with our regular damage on him. Uh, we're now over that 60% threshold again. So we can lifeblood again. Uh, my Zeta just kicked in, but it genuinely doesn't matter 
uh, having that Zeta. So we'll still be fine without it. Uh, gonna go basic. Keep going. And we have our second sudden whirlwind. We're gonna use it on the other guy. Now it's just SLKR and us. Shouldn't be too hard to kind of get through them. It'll just take a bit of time. Um, this one just kind of takes a little bit longer. That's about the only difference. She's back up to pretty high health. That's because of the Zeta. Um, if she's ever, like, yellow or barely over green, you always just want to use basic just to kind of get some health back. And then you can come back in with a lifeblood again and start pulling it back down. Throw it on whoever you're worried about. Um, because they, whoever you choose gets 25%, and everyone else gets half that. So we'll just keep going. Never use that back ability. Well, sure, we'll stun him again. Well, let's refresh his. Get Ray another turn. Pass around some more lifeblood. And let's go all in. So you're basically just trying to kill him as fast as you can. Sudden Whirlwinds obviously help a lot, and then BB-8's ultimate thing goes off, and we kind of just get a free round of turns and win. Voila. <sighs> yeah, so it just takes a little bit longer. That's all that's the difference between the two. Um, but you got to make sure you have that speed, otherwise you're going to, you know, mess some stuff up. Uh, for Tier 5, same thing. In fact, SLKR is actually slower in this tier for some reason. And so you're actually going to take first turn even before SLKR in this tier and Tier 6 with that 506 speed. Um, I'm not sure why, but hey, I'll take it. In this tier, he does have his Tier 2 abilities, which means he still can't stun, um, but he can't be stunned himself. And so you have to pay attention to his kit a little bit better. But not by much. It's basically the same kind of thing that you're doing. These battles just take a little bit. And so I'll make sure I put chapters in just so it's easier for people to find things. Um, a lot of people like to do lifeblood on Finn because they tend to just go after Finn in general. Um, but honestly, it is RNG dependent, as you can tell from what's happening here. Uh, but even so, that lifeblood will keep everyone alive. So make sure you have that Galactic Legend to make that lifeblood so good. Uh, you never want to attack these guys with any abilities, if possible, because they'll counterattack, and their counterattacks are brutal. Uh, as you can see, we have a new ability for the event. Uh, we'll basically be only using this on JTR, because it causes her to taunt. And so we'll just keep dropping lifeblood on JTR, and using her as our special little taunt. Um, and so we'll taunt. Um, we're gonna try on the off- ooh, tenacity down on him, so let's not try on the offhand. Still resist the stun, that's BS. Okay, whatever. But yeah, you can see their attacks are dealing crazy damage, like she's already almost out of the lifeblood protection again. Uh, we'll go all in. As you can tell, he's much beefier. Okay, and we'll get our first guy out. Sweet. Uh, she's now over the 60%, which is great. He's now into his health, so I'm going to drop healing immunity again. So you don't want to use that healing immunity until you get to his health. Uh, let's drop this on her again, because she's our special little taunt. Um, looks like we just lost some turn meter on him, so he uh, gained a little bit of health protection. Not a big deal, but we want to avoid that as much as possible. So avoid that last ability still. And we got the other guy. And just like that, it's just down to SLKR. And now if I had an auto button, I genuinely would press auto. Actually, that's not true. I would not hit auto because this ability could screw you up. So I'll have her do that again. Um, at this point, I might actually hit basic because I might have, you know, the 50% health and I need to gain some back. Um, but yeah, so get some more lifeblood on her. Yeah. This is the, uh, the semi-painful part is killing Supreme Leader Kylo Ren at the end because he is evil. Luckily though, um, we just saw that we're about to get a ultimate. Um, let's drop that there. Let's get a sudden whirlwind in. So like right here, we're going to want to try and get her... Uh, a little bit more health before we try to pull down our health again with lifeblood. Um, 
Like, I don't even trust that. Like, that might not be enough, so I, I'm going to do basic here. Yeah, so I'm going to do basic here. And that should be enough, I'm hoping. Uh, does anyone need inspiration? Let's give you inspiration. Um, he's almost dead, so instead of taunt, I'm going to go for that healing immunity. Try to keep him, uh, keep him low. See if we can't uh, finish him off real quick. Um, so, sure, let's get that lifeblood going one more time. Uh, just to try and get us a sudden whirlwind. And yeah, there you go. So yeah, it's all about kind of keeping your whole team like just super beefy with that lifeblood and balancing the life going up with the sudden whirlwinds by bringing the lifeblood down. And so just kind of balancing between, you know, 60% health and more. And so, yeah, that's that's mm -hmm. tier in four, four and five. Um, I'm doing some testing on a friend's account um, that's finished the tiers, so that way I can, you know, not waste mm -hmm. tickets and waste your guys' time. Um, because I spent a lot of tickets just testing these two tiers before I did them myself, uh, which was kind of dumb on my part, but you live and you learn. Um, but yeah, so 506 speed on Ray. Um, make sure Finn is pretty high speed. Uh, the rest really don't matter. Just have some solid mods on them. Um, don't pull turn meter from anyone on the other team if SLKR is alive. Uh, and that's about it. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. Subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. And stay tuned for tomorrow. Should have a tier 6 uh, video dropping tomorrow with minimum Zetas. Um, so far, what I'm seeing is the same two Zetas and then maybe one more, and I will let you guys know. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.